right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to be working on uh, mean today. It's from chapter 11, but it is on your benchmark, so we have to go ahead and work on that uh, so that you guys know what you're doing. All right, so the essential question is how do I find the mean of a data, site, data set? And don't forget you can pause the video so that you can go ahead and write all of that down. Your first and only vocabulary word is, uh, of course, the word mean. All right. So the mean, or average, you'll hear it called average also, summarizes data using a single number. All right, so mean or average summarizes data using a single number. All right, so of course you guys can do your question there. How do we find the mean of a set of data? All right, let's say we are working with temperatures, uh, daily temperatures. And we're going to record temperatures over six days. So here we have 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Now obviously this is not California because we don't get those temperatures very often. All right, let's say day one we get 45 degrees. Day two, we get 47. Day three, we get 52. Day four, we get 45 again. Day five, we get 49. And day six, we get 50. All right, so this is our data set. Okay, so first step, is we're going to add all of the data. Okay, in this case, well, in all cases, you're going to only add the data that applies. So here we have 45, 47, 49, 50, and 52. So we're gonna add all of this data together. So I have 45, but I have two 45s, right? So two days were 45. I have 47, 49, 50, and 52. Okay. When you add all of that together, you should get 288. Okay. Go ahead and pause if you need to. Okay, step two is I'm going to count how many days. Obviously, we already know we had six days, right, that we took this data over. So I'm going to take my total. Let's write that out. So I'm going to divide the sum in step one by the number of data items. In this case, six. Okay, so we have 288 divided by six. Do the math. Six goes into two, nope. Six goes into 28, four times. Six times four is, good. Eight minus four. Six goes into 48, eight times. Six times eight is 48. Okay, so my average temp was 48 degrees. 
Okay, let's do another example. All right, so let's say we are taking counts of the runs on the baseball team over four game series. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, game one, they had three runs. Game two, they had one run. Game three, they had four runs, and game four, they had four runs. Okay, so I'm going to add my numbers together in step one. So one, three, and four. Okay, so don't forget we have two fours, right? So I have one plus three plus four plus four equals 4 plus 4 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many x's do I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4. So it would take 12 divided by 4, which gives me 3. So the average runs that the baseball team did was 3. All right, besides doing tallies like this, um, you're also going to see numbers just listed in a list. So let's say we had a bunch of numbers. Uh, 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 1, 2, and 7, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's make this an 8. Okay, so I have 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 1, 2, and 8. So I'm going to add all of these numbers together. Okay, so 5 plus 5 is 10, 4 plus 4 is 8, so it's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and so this should be 32. How many numbers do I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 32 divided by 8 is 4. So my average number in that is 4. Okay, so get on to Google Classroom and do a little quiz and then we'll move on from there.